Hello there and welcome to the Happiness Journal's YouTube channel. My name is Jadel Kabiro. I'm a journalist. The person I'm seated next to, you might know him as a politician or a lawyer, but we're not speaking about either. We're speaking about happiness. It's weird that we're sitting here today with a man whom I really respected and enjoyed to see on TV when I was growing up. Mm. And I just want to know why is he pursuing happiness and why does he want you to, to focus on happiness in your life? Kereto Murungi. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much, Jadir. Uh, I'm happy you've, you, you've, you've come so uh, that you can discuss happiness. I haven't seen you yes. for quite some time. You know, yes. when people yes. hear that I'm talking to you yes. about happiness, most mm. of them will be like, what's happening with this man? He's former mm. governor. Yes. He, he leads oil, parastatal. Yes. Why are you pursuing happiness in your life? Uh, it's true. As you've said, I've been most of my life in politics. Mm. Uh, spent 30 years of my adult life mm. uh, in various political positions. First, as you know, I was a strict activist for democracy in the country. Yes. Uh, we were the pioneers for the human rights movement mm. uh, in Kenya. Um, then I, I became a human rights lawyer. Mm. Uh, then a member of parliament. Then I became a minister. Mm. And then after 2013, I became a senator mm. and governor. Yeah. And uh, as you know, I lost the last elections. Yes. So I'm no longer in that high profile mm. uh, politics. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's a result of that loss that uh, has led me to this. Um, you know, it's, been, it's not it's very painful mm. to lose an election. Yeah. Especially if you have not lost one before. Oh, actually, you've never lost a single election. I have not lost a single election since 1992. I lost this one of 2022. So you hadn't developed the character of losing? <laughs> no, no. I, in fact, I had <laughs> become overconfident. and oh. I become used to winning. So you now you can see mm. how devastating it was, oh. you know, for me to, to, have, to have lost. Uh, of course, I kept a brave face mm. because I had many followers mm. and uh, young people had worked very hard for me to win. Head high, chest up. Uh, yes, so I tend to encourage them. It's not the end of the world. But uh, inside me, oh. uh, yeah, I was actually very, very depressed and messy. Mm. And uh, I could, to manage my emotions, I decided to go and visit my daughter, mm. uh, the one who's in here who was, who was a student mm. in UK, okay. uh, in Manchester. Mm. And um, I stayed there for two weeks, just doing nothing. Mm. Uh, morning, licking my woods oh. and all that. <laughs> uh, and I think it is that emptiness, mm. you know, which led me to to think about my life, ask why am I so sad, mm. uh, and spend that years mm. of winning. Why should one loss mm. be the one to define me? So you're just reflecting there. Yeah, just reflecting, and uh, then I actually discovered that I had no cause at all mm. to be sad. Mm. Uh, even the thing I should be thanking the people of Meru mm. for carrying me on their back to victory mm. over the last so many elections mm. and also giving you opportunity to serve and do so many mm. things which I consider great. Is, is, yes. Was this a realization or yes. is this a way of comforting yourself? Yes. How would you say it? I, did you realize that God has blessed you or yes. you decided to comfort yourself by yes. saying, let me just yes. thank the people? Uh, of course, um, uh, the ideal position is if I would won, yeah. would I would have won. I think for every politician, mm. uh, winning is the number one position. Yes. Yeah, but now you have not won. Uh, do you kill yourself? Mm. Yeah. So, uh, in the process, I discovered there was some light. Oh. In all this darkness. Okay. And uh, I should not really be, uh, be be sad. I should celebrate mm. uh, my new life. And move on. 
So, so yes. how, how then did you come across? Because yeah. in, in, I've read the past two journals you've written, yeah. and you came across this institute, Happiness Studies. Yes, actually, while I was there mm. in the UK, you know, and a, a lot of time in my hands. Yeah. And these days, you know, mm. especially when you're alone, mm. the next thing you do is uh, start surfing. Oh. And, uh, uh, so I, I came across mm. the Happiness Studies Academy okay. purely by accident. Oh. Yeah, I, I saw it on Facebook mm. and listened a bit. Mm. Then I took more interest and I was able to, to get them on YouTube. Mm. Yeah, so I, you know, I got interested in their message, so which, uh, which to me at that moment, mm. It's a very, very impressive uh, message. So, so what was the message? If yeah, someone yeah. is watching us right now and they're thinking yes. happiness, yes. if I get all the money in the world, is that happiness? If, right, I, right. if I get married, is that happiness? Yes, Which yes. message did you hear from the Happiness uh, Studies Academy that we realized yes. that this is happiness and this is why I should pursue it? Yeah, when I studied the Mabit, I came to understand that uh, the, the lead professor of the academy, mm. uh, you know, was a very famous uh, professor of positive psychology mm. uh, at my old school, Harvard University. Oh. And uh, what you were saying was, this was a new, uh, a new area of study mm. uh, because traditionally psychology has focused on the negative aspects mm -hmm. of human life, mm. on anxiety, uh, social disorders. Mm -hmm and also psychological disorders. And that's true. You listen yes, to therapists yes, and you yes, hear yes, depression. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. But uh, life is much more than that. So you thought, in addition to focusing mm. on those negative aspects, we should also look at the other side of the coin, mm. you know, about uh, pleasure, happiness, yeah. and all because it is also part of life. So that's why he decided to start, to, to start this study on happiness. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me it made a lot of sense because when you look at all you people in the media, mm -hmm. generally focus on mm -hmm. that old story <laughs> about uh, man bite dog. Man bite dog. <laughs> uh, you look at the newspapers, uh, 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 both print and electronic media. The main focus is mm. when there's manda, mm. uh, shakahola, mm. you, you know, all those things which are painful. And they're the stories that yeah. actually yes. sell. Yes, <laughs> yeah, precisely. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, about 90 percent is on the negative mm. uh, human stories. Mm. Uh, don't know about 10 percent, you read the, well, it, so the lifestyle, you know, yeah. about the people who struggled and made it and all that. I discovered I was sad mm. because I was focusing on this one event. Mm. Uh, my life and so many other positive things which uh, to be happy about. Mm. Uh, so, and he said um, the, the purpose of the academy mm. was to, to have a, a scientific approach mm. to happiness. Okay. Uh, to to try to get people to understand, mm. you know, what happiness is, how important it is mm. in our lives, and also uh, how to make yourself happier, mm. and and those around you or those other people uh, who you come across, so, the society generally. Okay. So uh, I thought this is a course mm. uh, which is used for me personally and also for other people mm. in Kenya and elsewhere. Because uh, when you look at it, everything new people do, everything every person does uh, is in the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. Yeah, you can be pushing a mkokoteni, mm. yeah, but at the end of it, you have to make a little money. What do you do with the money? Mm, uh, yeah, buy some food, make yourself happy. Mm. Uh, you are a surgeon, mm. what do you do with the money? You also... Buy the same Yeah, food. you are. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
So everybody, the end of all ends mm. is happiness. So yeah. you, you joined the Happiness yes. Studies Academy. Yes. You fast forward, you come back to Kenya. Yes. And then and now we registered. I registered uh, uh, as uh, as as a student mm. uh, in the Happiness Studies Academy, uh, okay. and uh, did intense ten months mm. of study. <laughs> intense ten months. Yes. Uh, of that course. So you, you come mm. back to Kenya, we are seated here talking about the Happiness Resource Center. Yes. Why did you decide now to also start your own organization of sort? Uh, in the, in the, during that course, I came across very interesting uh, information mm. and I would say very useful information, mm. which I thought could help not only myself but also others. Mm in uh, making their lives appear. Mm. And I thought, let me start this channel, the establish the center, mm. to share the information mm. uh, that I learned, and also to try to help other people also, mm. uh, to change their lives, to become uh, happier, mm. and in more meaningful lives, mm. yes. So if you are asked what is the goal of the Happiness Resource Center, mm. the Happiness Journal, and yes. now this YouTube channel. Yes. What would you say you are looking forward to, at least to accomplish in the next sort of two years or so? Um, okay, first of all, we are spreading happiness. Mm. Uh, I, I see this is as a transformational uh, journey. Mm. We would like as many people as possible to really understand what happiness is and also to get some practical ways uh, of bringing more happiness in their lives mm. and the lives of those who are dear or near to them. Okay. Uh, so I thought it's a, it's a contribution that I could make, not only to my own life, mm. but also to the lives of others. Mm. Uh, just like we wanted to transform lives through politics, mm. we could also transform lives through this study of happiness. Okay. Yes. I'm looking at this second issue we have yeah. here. Uh, does romantic love give happiness? Well, what, what are some of the content that you give in your journal and what research do, will people find when they read these journals? Um, well, I think love lies at the center of uh, all people's lives. Mm. I could say it is the center of gravity mm. of human relations. Mm. But it's a very much misunderstood uh, phenomena, if I may call it that. Mm. Uh, uh, because most of the, our ideas and our children's ideas about mm. love are shaped by what they see on TV. Mm or on social media platforms, you know, that uh, the Romeo and Juliet mm. uh, kind of love mm. uh, So the question that we're asking the general mm. is, uh, does love give you happiness? Mm. And we look at various forms of love mm. because they have been uh, analyzed historically. Mm. It's, it's, even 2,000 years ago, the Greeks mm. were still talking about love. Mm. So we look at the various forms of love okay. and which kind of love gives people uh, most happiness. So what I'm... So, mm. um, I think when people talk about love, especially in this country, they are thinking more about romantic mm. uh, love, that passionate love, yeah. you know, which is basically driven by looks and sexual desire mm. and such yeah you know but that 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 love uh mm. is very short-lived mm. and and it's a dangerous uh, form of love mm. uh, many couples get into a lot of trouble you know because of obsession mm. 
you know, with the romantic love. Mm. Indeed, when the two people meet and fall in love, there are many things in a future relationship mm. which don't come, which don't count. Mm. For instance, at that moment, uh, when the young man, the other one, excited mm. in the disco, yeah. nobody is thinking about uh, who will be sweeping the houses mm. when they get together. Yeah. Who will be washing clothes. <laughs> uh, yeah. And they are going to get children. Mm. The children are going to be sick. You know, what kind of love are we going to have mm. when they are sitting on a bench uh, in a hospital at 3 a.m. at night mm. uh, waiting for the crying child to be, you know, examined by the doctors. So there are many things, you know, which are not captured mm. in the definition of love, mm. but which, which actually define mm. a long-term relationships. So, so mm. what we are saying in, in this, or the message uh, in this article is that of all the loves, there's one called pragma, which is pragmatic love. Mm. You know, love which is based on realities, on understanding each other's partner's needs, mm. and also which involves bits of a practical management, mm. you know, of life. Not necessarily that ex not so exciting, mm. but uh, which gives satisfaction and, and mm. that kind of love, finally, mm. is the one which is long-lasting and is which gives you contentment and satisfaction. Mm. Yeah. So if you haven't read this one, this is yes. the Happiness Journal's second issue. Yes. Uh, does romantic love give yes. happiness? You can yes. uh, click the link down in the description and yes. we will send it, send it to you. Yes. You can get a PDF copy or a right. hard copy. And yes. well, I want to know though... Actually, the love which is usually captured in the media mm. is what is called Rudeus. Oh. Uh, basically, uh, ex marito mm. uh, love, mm. uh, you know, which is exciting when two people meet, uh, each one are steering, mm -hmm. Maybe somebody's wife, somebody's husband, mm. and then you don't have enough time together. Uh, and then after you go home, you start longing again mm. for somebody who is not available. Mm. Or you get yourself in a mess. Uh, you are caught up in the rough triangles, uh. which are reported in the media. <laughs> so this, uh. Uh, that one is not sustainable. Mm. And accompanied by a lot of jealousy mm. and sometimes violence and murder mm. and such. Uh, uh, so yes. from, from what yes. you s I'm, th I'm seeing now with yes. the journals is that yeah. every single edition, every single issue yeah. deals with different practical issues that affect people's lives every day. Yeah, please, we, are, we are trying to promote love in society. Uh. Yes. So in doing so, you have to discuss what is that which enhances uh, pleasure and love in mm. society mm. and happiness? But also point out at what can cause mm. uh, unhappiness. Oh. And so the, the whole purpose is to minimize unhappiness uh, and maximize happiness. happiness. So yes. how can we correlate now uh, yes. self-well-being, uh, personal well-being, mm. and these societal issues that are out here? Because... You see happiness. We have this journal of happiness. Yeah. And then there are other societal issues out here right. that daily tell us mm. that there is no room for happiness. You look at yes. Shaka Hola, right. for instance. You look mm. at the economy too. Right. And so you think to yourself, mm. is this chief happiness officer? But they haven't told them you're the chief happiness officer. Yes, yes, <laughs> I'm the chief happiness officer. Is the chief yeah. happiness officer, Kiraito yeah. Murungi, understanding that there are these yeah. societal issues? And how can yes. we merge? personal well-being and these issues? No, I think what you're asking for goes into our understanding of the deeper meaning in, of happiness. A mm. uh, happy life is not necessarily a life without unhappiness mm. or without suffering. 
or without pain. Mm. Every life is like that. But uh, happiness is a state of mind. Uh, happiness is the mental frame within which you interpret these external events. Oh. Uh, you, the two of you can be in exactly the same circumstances, but one person is devastated, mm. one person is depressed, mm. but the other one understands it and therefore is not mm. uh, depressed. Um, the, uh, maybe it will be easy to understand that there is nothing like happiness is not like a shirt where you can go mm. into a shop and buy it. Mm. It is not something that is uh, tangible. Mm. Uh, neither is it easily uh, defined as in a, in a precise, singular manner. Mm. Uh, happiness is not even something that you can seek and get. Mm. Uh, happiness, you go f looking for happiness, you become unhappy. No. Oh. It isn't something you seek directly. Mm. It, it, it just happens in directory. Mm -hmm. uh, you do certain things mm -hmm. and then happiness comes as a result okay. of the things that you've done. Mm -hmm. And it is defined in several ways. Mm -hmm. um, you see, look, there is an elephant. That old story about people who went to see the elephant. Mm -hmm. uh, some so so the ear, mm. others the, the trunk, mm. others, and each of them came describing elephants in different ways. Mm. Even happiness can be described like that. Mm. But now, for you to understand it, you need to have the total, complete picture. Okay. Uh, one, uh, you can get hap happiness by looking at the total human personality mm. and the various experiences that the human personality goes through. Uh, and the most, I actually, I summarized into five. Mm. First, there is a, what they call spiritual mm. uh, element. Uh, the spiritual pillar is what gives meaning into your life. Mm. Spirituality does not necessarily mean uh, religion. Mm. It means something that you are focused on. Uh, it means something that you sincerely believe and want. Mm. For instance, you took Wangari Madai mm. and uh, the forests. She was spiritual about it. Mm. Uh, she had so much passion mm. you know, for it. So there's that thing which makes you wake up mm. to go and do. Mm. So if you live a life without a goal, without a purpose. That drive. That, yeah, that's, mm. you, you know. Then you are living a meaningless life. You are like living a life without a purpose, mm. and most likely you are not. You cannot be happy. Then number two, uh, the, the the human being is a combination of both the mind and the body. You can't separate the two. So you live a life of inactivity. Uh, you are likely to be unhappy. So, but when you perform certain physical tasks. You can do for a formal exercise, like going to a gym, you can play a game, or you can do an informal exercise, like walking in your shamba, mm -hmm. or, you know, going to buy things in the shop, where you do some physical uh, activity, you know, that also gives you some, some, uh, some happiness. Yes. I think like eating food, mm. get, eating good food also gives you happiness, mm -hmm. isn't it? True. Yeah, you know, nutrition, exercise. Mm. But sometimes when being alone, reflecting mm. on some good things which happen in your life. Yeah. 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 Then there's the, the intellectual pillar. Mm. Uh, is what exercises your mind. Mm. You might read a good book, you know, which really excites you, mm. so makes you happy. You might see a movie. Mm. You might even... Uh, 
take an adventure, go to Ethiopia, go a new country, mm -hmm. meet new people. Explore. Yeah. 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 That openness to experience, to new experiences, mm. you know, also makes you uh, happy. Mm. Um, but they say the biggest test of happiness is relations. Okay. Yeah. You, even if you are a millionaire, you own a lot of land mm. and all that. If you are alone, you can't be happy. So that's the fourth pillar. Yes. You have to be, it has to be in a social universe. Uh, you have, when you graduate, you need people around you mm. uh, so that you can enjoy mm. the glory together. Yeah. But there are moments also when uh, you lose a relative, Oh, yeah. When you are lose a job, you are sad. Mm -hmm. You also need to have some friends, you know, to comfort you, to comfort you, make your pain less. Mm -hmm. So that also contributes to your happiness. Let me just hold you there. Yeah. I remember now you lost an election. Did mm -hmm. you have people for you that helped you go through that? Yes. You said you were with your daughter. So yes. how did that help you? The people around you as no. that pillar. Of course, we had our own campaign team. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are all mourning together, mm. uh, you know, but there are moments of the journey when one has to walk mm. alone. Because even with the people, finally you have to go home. Yeah. So they only reduce uh, your pain, they don't eliminate it. Mm. Yeah. So in my case, and my wife and my daughter and my son, mm. and uh, we spent that time walking in parks mm -hmm. out there and going for dinner. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I, I can see they help me to, to absorb it. It's not that I was totally alone. Okay. The fifth uh, pillar now, the last one. The uh, fifth pillar is emotional. Uh, you know, you are human. Mm -hmm. And as a human being, all manner of emotions uh, accompany you. There are moments when you're going to be very happy, mm -hmm. moments you'll be very sad. Uh, pain and grief are part of uh, mm. every life. And the thing is for you to understand those emotions. Mm. Um, the painful ones. You need to understand that pain is temporary. Mm. Uh, if you don't, if you, you don't see hope, mm. uh, then you can be very depressed because depression, uh, you know, is kind of is pain without hope. Mm -hmm. So the thing is not to maximize mm -hmm. uh, or exaggerate mm -hmm. the pain. Once you understand mm -hmm. that it's temporary and it will go, mm -hmm. then at least you are not as sad as person who does not understand that. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, then two, uh, there are some things you, you can't do much about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If somebody has died, you cannot raise that person from the dead. Mm. It's something you have to accept, isn't it? Yeah. And um, that one you just let it flow. You let, mm. you let it take its level. Okay. Just like you can put that uh, water mm. in a glass. Sometimes you just let it, you let the, the mud. Dutch. Go down. Go down, and then you are left with clean water on top. So some emotions are so complicated that they are better left mm. to settle down. So those ones you just live through. Accepting. You just accept them, you live through them, mm. and all that. And then there are things like gratitude. Mm. Many good things have happened in your life. Uh, Sometimes you don't focus, you don't think about them. Mm. So, but if you look at them, like now, you passed your old divorce, mm. uh, you got a child. It's, it's, sometimes people don't even remember these things. Yeah, true. But remember, there are many other the people who are failed. Mm. There are people without children. You count your blessings. Yeah, you, you count. Say. You count your blessings. You know, you feel you feel better. 
So, so yeah. ap apart from now reading this journal, yeah. how else, how would you advise someone listening to us and saying, yeah. where should I start pursuing happiness? We, as we wind up, because we'll have so several of these yeah, that's conversations. Correct. Now, the purpose of this uh, happiness course is not to give you theories. Mm. Uh, it is to make you happy. The 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 course even if you read so much mm. what Plato and other people said mm. uh, that one will not make you happy mm. yeah. what you need is after you understood what, what happiness is all about you have to take some practical steps mm. to bring happiness into your lives you have been told that human relations are very important uh, generators of happiness. Mm. Now, after that, you have to go out, seek out your own school friends. Mm. Uh, maybe you have some little challenges with your wife and children. Uh, you know, try to work on that. Oh. Uh, listen to them. Reconcile. Reconcile. Uh, maybe you have not been out, you know, in any physical exercise. You know, go out, you know, play football, play golf, mm. and it brings more happiness in your life. Okay. So happiness is more in what you do mm. rather than what you learn. Mm. Theory, Carlo. Yes, yes. And uh, happiness is something which can be uh, learned through practice. For instance, you brush your teeth every day. Mm. Uh, who taught you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, first you are shown how to do it. Mm. Then you are reminded you, you need to do you it. didn't do it. Mm. Uh, then you repeat, and then it, you ritualize it. Mm. So now you, you can't leave your house now. If you have not brushed your house, you yeah. feel there's something weird. Yes. Mm. So even happiness, there are ways you can you can learn. Make it a habit, mm. and then that way you in, you in a happier life. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what the course is all about. All right. Yeah. I think we should wrap it up at that point. Yeah. I'm with the chief happiness officer of the Happiness yeah. Resource Center and the author yeah. of the Happiness Journal, Kreto Murungi. We'll be here and we'll be speaking about happiness, yeah. pursuing happiness in our lives as yeah. we are pursuing in ours. I hope you'll pursue it in yours. First step, I think, get this journal for yourself and subscribe to this YouTube channel so that every time we have these shows, these conversations, you'll be the first one to see them. The notification bell will help you there for the podcast or the episode to appear on your notification panel on your phone. Thank you so much for what you're doing, okay. and I hope we'll have these conversations more often. Thank you, Jadir. Yeah. I wish you more happiness. <laughs> I wish you two more happiness in your life. And of course, yeah. I wish you all the happiness <laughs> in your lives. Tell your <laughs> friends that we're here and to subscribe too. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. <laughs>